LG C1 OLED, Best OLED TV The LG C1 OLED is the current king of TVs. It's the successor to one of the best TVs of 2020, the LG C10, so our expectations were high, yet it managed to realize them all. It offers one of the best images we've ever seen, with almost perfect cinematic colors. It also features AMD Free Sync and NVIDIA G-Sync, making it a great option for gamers. LG made a series of small improvements to last year's model. The C1 uses the fourth-generation Alpha 9 processor that can improve upscaling, LG's new AI Picture Pro engine manages 4K content with ease, and does a spectacular job of transforming HD and SD signals into something more, and virtual surround sound, the sound is mediocre like on all ultra-slim TVs but loud enough, while LG's AI Sound Pro system also supports Dolby Atmos, and with four HDMI 2.1 ports, with eARC support, for 4K at 120Hz gaming, makes it ready for any next-gen console. Gamers will also appreciate the low input lag, just 6 milliseconds, the almost instant response time, and the new game optimizer that gives you the ability to adjust brightness, contrast, and variable refresh rate on the fly. It's not without flaws, being an OLED panel it is better suited for viewing in a dark room, visibility shouldn't be a problem in most well-lit rooms as it has great reflection handling. It also doesn't support HDR10+, just like Samsung TVs don't support Dolby Vision, but it displays a wide range of colors, and has an adequate HDR peak brightness, enough to bring out the highlights. It's not cheap, of course, but we were happily surprised to find out that all LG C1 models were launched at a lower price than their LG C10 counterparts. All in all, we believe that the LG C1 OLED offers the best combination of price, specs, and performance, of all other TVs we have tested so far, and should be at the top of your list as a potential TV to buy in 2021. LG C10 OLED, a valid alternative. The LG C10 is certainly the best 2020 OLED TV. It sports an incredible display, support for Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, and a ton of other features for smart home control. Iterating on last year's C9 series, the C10 doesn't look that different, and it isn't. Developments in image quality are traced back to improvements in processing, making the most of the OLED panel's capacity to emphasize details in the dark areas of the screen. The C10 uses the amazing WebOS 5.0 smart platform, has an intuitive remote for motion control, and adds modern updates such as the even more powerful third-generation A9 processor, and support for HDMI 2.1 and its last-gen features, such as enhanced audio return channel, high frame rate, auto low latency mode, as well as all current variable refresh rate formats. With the new 48-inch model, alongside the 55, 65 and 77-inch models, the C10 series is an even more flexible proposition that will suit a wider range of wallets and homes. The 48-inch model is not a downgraded OLED TV, but a scaled-back flagship TV. It offers the same performance and features as its bigger siblings, both in terms of image quality and processing power, but in a smaller package that is better suited to a smaller room. The C10 boasts a slim design, superb performance, supports both Dolby Vision IQ, which adjusts HDR performance based on ambient lighting, and Atmos, and improves sound with audio tuning powered by artificial intelligence. Blacks and viewing angles are perfect, and are combined with bright but natural colors and bright whites. The brightness reaches peaks of about 750 nits, which is normal for an OLED panel, but since this series handles the breadth of its contrast range better than almost any other TV set we have seen so far, it certainly feels brighter than that, and OLED's ability to mix bright pixels next to dark ones continues to produce a stunning image. Motion processing is also the best it's ever been. The new image processing technology helps make details and skin tones more realistic, thus producing an overall image quality which is noticeably better. This TV also impresses in terms of upscaling content with standard definition. And LG, this time around, considered gamers as well. The C10 has a very low input lag, just over 13 milliseconds in game mode, and offers support for NVIDIA G-Sync and 4K 120Hz compatibility for next-generation consoles. The only thing missing is support for HDR10+, but that fact doesn't subtract much from the best OLED TV of 2020. And while its premium price might scare off some potential buyers, it packs more value than any of its more expensive OLED competitors, while still providing an unprecedented image. Samsung QN90 Neo QLED, Best OLED Alternative 
The Samsung QN90 is one of the first 4K screens to use the company's Neo QLED panels that combine Samsung's refined quantum dot technology with advanced mini LED backlight control. In simple terms, these panels sport significantly more light emitting diodes per square inch and significantly more local dimming zones than previous generations. The result is a brighter TV than ever before and one that can produce a surprisingly wide range of colors, and all of this technology is packed into a beautiful design that's just 1 inch thick. In addition to performing well in bright environments, this TV is also an excellent choice for watching movies in dark rooms. Its VA panel boasts an excellent contrast ratio, it doesn't reach the spectacular infinite contrast of OLED panels but it is closer than ever, and the local dimming function helps produce even deeper blacks. All Neo QLED TVs also feature Samsung's new Neo Quantum 4K processor, that uses a neural network to analyze images for better HD upscaling, and Motion Accelerator Turbo Plus for better movement handling. It features a 120Hz panel and HDMI 2.1 connectivity, so you can easily play 4K games at up to 120fps using a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series 10. Moreover, the native support for AMD Free Sync Premium Pro and NVIDIA G-Sync compatibility that combat screen tearing, as well as a low input lag and a quick response time, make for smooth movement, and grant an unprecedented gaming experience. Furthermore, Samsung's new game bar can be used to display all relevant information about the game in one convenient location. Sadly, its local dimming function is worse in game mode, thus blacks aren't as deep while gaming. And, as if all this wasn't enough, Samsung has also added a multitude of smart TV functions and truly intelligent features, such as a solar-powered remote that renders batteries obsolete. That said, there are a couple of problems we have to speak about, such as the slight wobble of the base, or the lackluster sound quality, despite support for Dolby Atmos, that don't suit a premium TV. Last but not least, there's still no support for Dolby Vision, which means you're limited to HDR10 and HDR10+. All in all, if you desire a high-end TV with spectacular image quality, but you don't want an OLED TV, perhaps because of the risk of screen burn-in, then the Samsung QN90 should do the trick. Sony A90J OLED, best all-around TV. We love Sony's OLED TVs but find it hard to justify buying them over rival LG TVs. Historically, Sony TVs have a more authentic picture and better sound, but they are held back in terms of functionality and usability. The ideal TV then, is one that combines Sony's picture and sound quality with LG's functionalities. This is exactly what we have in the Sony A90J OLED. In terms of performance, the A90J is stunning. It takes OLED picture performance to new and exciting levels, while maintaining the authenticity that Sony is renowned for. The A90J blends the deep and even perfect blacks of an OLED, with some of the brightest highlights we've ever seen. Its OLED panel gets in fact much brighter, especially in HDR, so most of the small highlights stand out in the way the creator intended. Compared to LG, it also has better out-of-the-box accuracy and better gradient handling, which means it displays colors more accurately and without banding in similar color areas, thus preserving those fine details. It features Sony's XR Cognitive Processor, which does a fantastic job of upscaling older and lower resolution content, allowing you to enjoy the latest movies, as well as classics, in the highest picture quality. It even sounds better than all other TVs. Sony's Acoustic Surface Audio Plus turns the entire OLED panel into a loudspeaker that is flanked by a two-subwoofer bass system. In addition, XR Surround makes that sound feel like it comes from everywhere around you, while the automatic acoustic calibration system can optimize the TV's sound for your room. Last but not least, the A90J is also packed with new features including eARC compatibility, support for Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision, HDMI 2.1 connectivity, a native refresh rate of 120Hz, a variable refresh rate, and an automatic low latency mode. If you have discerning tastes, and money is no issue, you won't regret spending extra on the Sony A90J OLED. Sony A9G OLED, a valid alternative, without a doubt, this TV is a clear improvement over the Sony Master Series A9F. The Sony Master Series A9G not only features the best 4K Ultra HD OLED screen we have reviewed so far, but it also sports an innovative audio system that is simply fantastic. It's called Acoustic Surface, and it works by sending sound waves through the screen. This creates the unique effect of sound coming out of the TV. It also offers the best upscaling, and ensures that all those SD and HD images look surprisingly detailed on the 4K display. Thus the A9G offers the best viewing experience money can buy, 
with Sony's incredible image processing and impeccable HDR delivery, that is ahead of the competition. In addition, it uses Google's Android TV which is the most complete OS out there, Google's Assistant for controlling both the TV and other smart devices connected to it, and Google's Chromecast that lets you stream content directly from your PC or mobile device. Sony A80J OLED, a cheaper alternative. Here at Ephemerity we evaluate products based on their performance to price ratio. Looking for the absolute best product in each category would result in automatically recommending the most expensive one. Instead, we search for the product that best balances performance, features, and price. On that metric, the Sony A80J OLED is fantastic. It certainly falls short of its flagship sibling, however, it offers most of what makes the A90J great, but at a much more competitive price point. The picture quality is characterized by a perfect contrast, brilliant color gamut coverage, exceptional color accuracy, first-rate screen uniformity, and wide viewing angles that ensure everyone can enjoy a sharp image no matter where they sit at. In addition, it manages to produce more impactful highlights than rivals like the LG C1. But most impressive is how the A80J combines the spectacular with the natural and the authentic. No other TV available right now, aside from the A90J, offers such faithful creative intent. The stunning visuals are complemented by equally excellent sound, thanks to Sony's Acoustic Surface Audio Plus system, which turns the TV screen into a speaker. Thus the audio is tied to the picture in a way that TVs from other manufacturers cannot match. The sound is enveloping and more immersive than that produced by similarly priced competitors, and there's also an impressive amount of gravitas and dynamic range on offer, even without an optional surround sound system or soundbar. The new Google TV operating system was created for televisions from the ground up, and it shows, it is well designed and intuitive to use, highly responsive, and provides access to all major streaming platforms. Last but not least, a pair of HDMI 2.1 ports make the A80J a great choice for gamers, thanks to support for 4K at 120Hz, variable refresh rate, and auto low latency mode. The Sony A80J OLED is a high-end TV, that will allow you to have a cinematic experience similar to a home theater, as well as make your favorite video games great. LG C2 OLED, Best Gaming TV The LG C2 is a superb TV, but right now the 2021 model is a better deal. In terms of image quality the two are essentially identical, despite LG having equipped it with the new Evo panel of the G1 and G2 TVs. Real improvements include a carbon fiber construction, for up to 47% lighter weight, the new Alpha 9 Gen 5 processor, and a new always-on feature. Plus, you get a virtual surround sound, with the TV upscaling stereo content to 7.1.2 channel sound. While we weren't convinced by LG's claims, the audio performance is really good for a flat-screen TV. In addition to these improvements, the C2 has four HDMI 2.1 ports, a 120Hz refresh rate, and an incredibly low input lag, making it a great TV for gaming. It also has full support for both AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync, so you can enjoy a tier-free game, regardless of which system you connect to it. Last but not least, the LG Game Optimizer gives you precise control over a number of factors, as well as some standard presets for specific genres, to improve image quality and responsiveness if needed. There are, of course, higher resolution flat screen TVs out there, like the Samsung QN900A, while the new LG G2 has slightly higher peak brightness, but for gaming, this is the best one you can buy in 2022. Note that the LG C2 is also available in a 42 and a 48 inch size, but the two smaller models do not receive the new Evo panel, so you will get the true C2 experience only from a 55 inch model and upwards. LG G1 OLED, Best OLED Evo TV If you want the best OLED TV ever and you can afford it, then the LG G1 is the best TV we've tested so far, with unbeatable contrast, wide viewing angles, and excellent color consistency thanks to LG's new OLED Evo panel. Its main advantage over the LG C1 is its thinner and more wall-friendly design, thus if you appreciate this style and you can afford it, this is the TV to get. Until now, the C-Class model has been the sensible choice of every new LG OLED TV range, this was the most affordable model boasting the latest in panel and image processing technology, if you could pay more for the G-Class model then you could get a better sound and a more elaborate design, but not better visual performance. In 2021, however, LG introduced a new OLED Evo panel, a next-gen version of OLED technology that consumes less power, but in order to get it you have to splurge for the G1. The problem is that you also end up paying extra for a design, extremely elegant, but rather niche, 
that you may not want. The letter G in G1 stands for gallery, and LG's Gallery OLED series bears this name because it is designed for hanging on a wall like a work of art. That said, if the design works for you, and you don't mind paying a premium for the privilege, the G1 is arguably the best OLED TV LG has ever produced. It takes the image performance of last year's G10 and C10 models and improves it in almost every way. All thanks to LG's new OLED Evo technology, which updates the panel structure to achieve even more brightness, 20% more brightness than previous LG OLED TVs, which in turn pushes contrast and colors to higher levels, thus producing a wider HDR image that's more stunning than ever, and all this without increasing the bloom effect or, according to LG, the possibility of burn-in. This is combined with LG's improved control over the near-black elements of images, by leveraging the self-emitting pixels of OLED panels, their true advantage over LED panels, even those that use the new mini-LEDs, which means better performance at both ends of the brightness spectrum, and this translates to an even more realistic picture. In addition, the new 4th Gen AI A9 processor further improves upscaling, especially from HD to 4K, and the intelligent processing of objects on the screen. The TV is better at identifying what is on the screen and tweaking its performance to make the most of it, with motion processing, in particular, getting a clear update. The result is that everything looks more sharp and natural. As a result, the LG G1 appears to be a real revolution for the OLED TV maker, and certainly an upgrade over the cheaper LG C1, unlike last year, when the C10 and G10 models actually offered the same picture performance. That said, only the sharpest eyes will recognize the difference in image quality between the G1 and C1. As a result, the LG G1 appears to be a real revolution for the OLED TV maker, and certainly an upgrade over the cheaper LG C1, unlike last year, when the C10 and G10 models actually offered the same picture performance. That said, only the sharpest eyes will recognize the difference in image quality between the G1 and C1. In addition to being phenomenal for movies, the LG G1 is an excellent choice for gamers too. All four HDMI ports are 2.1, and it also features a variable refresh rate, an automatic low latency mode, and a new game optimizer mode that adds more flexibility in balancing responsiveness with image quality. It sounds good too, thanks in part to its improved audio processing, which now promises something like 5.1.2 channels, although the Dolby Atmos sound system isn't the best for bass. Still, there's one very notable omission, it doesn't come with a stand in the box. It includes instead, a special recessed wall bracket so that it can be as thin as possible when hanging. You can buy third-party feet to place it on your TV cabinet, or LG's floor gallery stand, but keep in mind that these solutions add to its price. The LG G1 is the flagship of the OLED TV range, offering slightly better performance than the LG C1, albeit at a significantly higher price point, and for this reason, the G1 doesn't top our rankings. Nevertheless, if you decide to buy it, you'll be investing in one of the best TVs for the money, and it will remain so for years to come. Sony X90J, Best Midrange TV The Sony X90J is one of the big TV hits of 2021, and for good reason. With excellent picture quality, full array local dimming, and enough brightness to bring out HDR content that can't fail to impress, this TV is the king of the midrange. The picture is brilliantly natural, authentic, and balanced, thanks in part to the new Cognitive XR processor that powers Sony's top 2021 TVs and offers excellent upscaling and contrast control. Sony has always led the sector in motion handling and upscaling, and that only got better with the new model. Whether you're watching content from a 4K or HD source, everything looks beautifully detailed, and motion looks clear and smooth, without appearing robotic. The sleek appearance of this set and the Google TV operating system, for easy setup and broad app support as well as the benefits of Google Cast from Android devices, add to the perfect recipe while support for next-gen consoles is just the icing on the cake. In fact, when it comes to gaming, the X90J boasts a 120Hz panel, two HDMI 2.1 ports, and an automatic low-latency mode that can really improve your gaming experience. And Sony also promises a variable refresh rate sometime in the future. Even the speakers are solid, with clear, direct sound, and there's also support for Dolby Vision HDR and Dolby Atmos Audio. Some issues persist, of course, including average viewing angles, and the slight warning that this set turns out to be quite reflective during the day. That said, the X90J is a noticeable step up from last year's model, its color reproduction is simply wonderful, with some clever processing techniques that allow images to look as beautiful as possible on an LED TV, and all this for a mid-range price. If you want a branded TV, 
then the Sony X90J offers perhaps the best value out of all we've tried so far. Samsung QN900A Neo QLED 8K, best TV ever. An 8K TV might seem a bit excessive for some, but there's no doubt that the Samsung QN900A has ushered in a new era of flat-screen TV technology. It delivers outstanding picture quality, by combining extreme brightness, color, and 8K clarity, with unprecedented levels of contrast and backlight control, to produce the most spectacular all-around image we've ever seen on a TV. Adds to that the premium sound that comes from the 8 drivers on the back of the unit, with that direction perhaps its only minor flaw, and packs it all in a chassis that is unmatched in terms of design. The QN900A is part of Samsung's third generation of 8K TVs, and the first to implement mini-LED lighting technology. As the name suggests, quantum mini-LEDs are much smaller than standard LEDs, and are measured in the thousands, rather than hundreds, on a TV panel. This means that thousands of smaller LEDs can be packed much tighter together, allowing for much more accurate local dimming areas, and deep blacks that are virtually indistinguishable from an OLED TV. And since these LEDs are much smaller, they are also able to be controlled much more precisely and with almost no bloom, the effect of seeing bright areas of the screen unnaturally bleeding into darker areas. Forget native 8K content for now, because there's none, instead focus on the fact that this TV employs fantastic AI-based upscaling management, which is a significant step forward compared to the already impressive upscaling of Samsung 8K TVs in 2020, offering excellent results even from SD sources, but with the kind of sharpness and detail that we normally expect from a 4K TV. In fact, the QN900A is capable of producing images that look better than the source. And not only does this TV boast the latest HDMI 2.1 and enhanced art capabilities, but it's also ideal for gamers who have recently invested in a next-generation console or gaming PC, featuring support for 4K at 120fps or 8K at 60fps gameplay, the Game Motion Plus technology which eliminates ghosting and blur, and AMD FreeSync Premium Pro which eliminates screen tearing. It's not better than OLED TVs, in the strict sense of the word. In fact, there are still those who prefer emissive pixels over backlit LCDs, but good luck finding an OLED TV with 8K resolution in this price range, and especially one that's smaller than 65 inches.